Hello, beautiful people. I hope everybody is having an awesome day today. Finally received the fan sales order from forever ago. Um, I actually ordered this group on December 23rd, and it got here January 10th. So there you go. <laughs> Um, which isn't that long ago, to be fair, but it feels really like, you know, before Christmas was eons ago. But anyway, it's here. Um, sorry about my throat and my voice sounding a little bit weird. Uh, I am getting better, you guys. It's just, you know, you get past a half century and my God, stuff takes a while to leave. So bear with me. Um, and like I said, this will probably be one of the last fan cell hauls that I do unless I see something really extraordinary because um, you know there are other ones with products that I like just as much or more that are budget companies that have less shipping time. I mean it's it's a rare thing for this to take less than three weeks when some of the others take you know 10 to 14 days. So just saying patience is not one of my virtues which I think I said before. So anyway that's happening. Um, I Oh, you guys, a whip and chat. That'll be coming too in the next couple of days. Um, also, I told you yesterday that I would show you how to use the Zyron X150 if you haven't seen it. So I am going to tack it on to the end of this video and um, just go over that just really quickly. Um, especially if you like to do canvases from budget companies, how you can make a sticker from your color chart that you get with your canvases so that you know it operates more like a premium canvas. So if you're interested in that, stick around till the end. We will go over that. I promise you it'll be quick. Okay, let's go in order of size, shall we? All right. So again, because it was fan self, <laughs> I was planning ahead, guys planning ahead. So in here, as <laughs> you're about to see, oh, Jack, diamond painting with Jack. I think I need to reserve a seat on the struggle bus today. I don't know. Um, something about these little plastic bags and I, I don't know. Maybe I should start just going ahead and taking them out of the plastic before I turn on the camera. Let me guys know. Do you think that would be better? Tell me what you think. Um, and I'll just do it because I love all you guys and whatever you want to do is okay by me. So there we go. Whew. All right. As I was saying, planning ahead, this is an Easter one because really you guys, okay, have you seen anything cuter? I mean, look, look, look at this cute dragon sitting in the basket of Easter eggs. I mean, really, this is beyond adorable. I love those great big eyes he has and those little, <laughs> the little spikes on his head and all those pretty eggs. Um, there are only 22 colors total. So yeah, good use of them in this little 30 by 30 canvas. But I wasn't sure when I would get it. So yep, planning ahead. I actually had this in a 20 by 20, which I gave to my husband to do for, <laughs> for Easter. Um, maybe I'll do a comparison when he does his, we can look at him and show him a side by side. But anyway, um, which will give us an idea of the difference that 10 centimeters can make, right? So that might be coming. Anyway, um, he was adorable. And I thought, in case anybody has any kind of an Easter event, then by golly, I'm ready to go. So there's that cute little Easter dragon. Per usual, boring little typical boat. But ooh, these drills are pretty. Now I will tell you, um, there, there is some trash in here. There's definitely trash in these drills. Um, there are some obviously misshapen drills too. Not like, you know, I'm not going to be able to complete the project problem, but definitely there are a few, few issues. Not awful. I mean, I don't think there's anything that's going to keep me from completing the canvas, but yeah, there are, there's a little bit of, you know, stuff in here. And you know, whenever you go and you get, but, oh, you guys look at this color scheme, but whenever you get, you know, budget canvases and you're getting acrylic drills, you should expect that there's going to be some 
pieces of God knows what that gets in there because, you know, it's the nature of the beast. So you even get that with premium companies. So come on. In fact, I'm very disappointed in how much trash that I've had in the main color of my soulmates canvas. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, that's the first one. That's our cute little, our cute little Easter dragon. Okay. Now this one, <laughs> there's a little story behind this one. I had ordered a different canvas, okay, which had all of the constellations, which I was looking forward to doing. I got an email from customer service. Um, if you haven't talked to customer service for fan cells, her name is Amy and she's very sweet. Um, but she sent me an email and said, oh, I'm sorry, we're not going to be able to get that particular canvas anymore. Could you, and this is how she put it, could you please select another one that's of this price point? <laughs> So clearly she didn't want to deal with having to adjust out refunds or credits or charging me, whatever it was. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I happened to see this partial and I, I loved it. And I didn't have anything like this yet in my stash. So that's the story behind it. So this is a 30 by 40. Look guys, it's only got nine colors. Now, aren't you curious? I know, right? Okay. But here, is this beautiful white wolf canvas. Stunning, right? Can you imagine when all the drills are on here? And yes, in case you're wondering, they're crystals. So yeah. And obviously there's gonna be special drills because both the eyes and the headpiece are all an oval shaped something. So we'll look at the drills just so we can oogle and ogle and know where they go, okay? So yeah, nine colors, which means the smallest group of containers you have will probably be fine. Um, and speaking of which, I did want to just take one second. Now seems like an opportune time. Um, some of the storage options that you have when you have uh, only, you know, say a dozen colors or less. You can get all kinds. You can go literally to um, the Dollar Tree because they have the little, the little containers with the screw on lids that are like either four or six for a dollar 25 so two of those packages you know would be plenty um yeah so any kind of bead storage because again if you don't need very many so like i'll probably kit this one up in this set this was a michaels that was on sale guys cheap when i got this i think i want to say after the sale price I think I paid $3.99 or $4.99 for this set of 12. Um, these are glass. So if you have little ones um, or, you know, potential for disaster for breaking of glass, you might want to go with plastic. Um, and I think the ones at Dollar Tree are plastic, but they're about half this size, which is plenty when you're talking about crystals. Rarely do you ever get so many in a crystal set that you're going to need another container. But even if you do with nine colors, you have three extra if you have a dozen. So, you know, use two for a couple of the colors. You can do that. But yeah, I like these because they're tall. That was one thing I liked about them. They have screw on lids was another thing I liked about them. They're easy to load. They're easy to pour. They're just nice when you have a smaller canvas. So I have two sets of these. So if I wanted to do, if I wanted to use these for something that had 24 colors, I could. So I just want to point that out that any set you, you purchase, or if you want to get your own, if you want to buy a couple of packages of the smaller ones and get you one of those little like Sterlite containers that have the lid and you just pop the lid off and put them in there, you can make your own set of 12 or 14 or 18 or 20, however many you want um, to suit whatever project you're doing. So don't think you're trapped in traditional kit up kits. You're not. Because honestly, I don't want to use a nine color canvas to fill up a 30 cup storage container or your Elizabeth Ward and knockoffs are, you know, 42. Okay. And your bigger art dots are 60. Like, why would you use that for a nine color? Right? So think about other types of storage and it doesn't have to be bead storage. There's lots of little tiny storage options for all kinds of reasons. Timu has a plethora. So just, you know, do what suits you and go through them, guys. Okay, so <laughs> this is how the drills come. 
Um, it's got a little bit of an update, not much, but this kit had all the normal stuff in the kit and a pair of plastic tweezers. So, you know, that was nice that they did that. They didn't have to, but that's fine. So it does have that little piece in there. But we're gonna look at these because we know already that there are going to be some special drills. And you know, we should look at them, right? Of course we should, because you never know. Might have an, a chance to ogle something, okay. So, let's do that, shall we? First, we'll just take a good look. Here's a really pretty light blue. Here's a dark blue. Oh, two dark blue. Oh, even more. Three dark blue, because that's going to be the majority of the background. Here are some white half circles. Aha, and here are the ovals that are going to go in the eyes and the headdress. How gorgeous is that, you guys? Wow. Here are some... Uh, I think they're mostly clear, but they sparkle pretty. They almost look pink or purple because of the sparkle. Some uh, marquees. Here are some larger faceted crystal half circles, which are very pretty. And then some slightly larger white opalescent half pearls. Okay, so now I'll tell you where these are going. So, okay, so these little white pearls are going everywhere where the dot is located, which is, it means it's going to outline the ears. So that'll be cute. I mean, you don't see that all that often. So that's nice. And then these are going to go, hmm, I'll tell you in a second. I'll find it, you guys, don't worry. I will find, okay, so these are going to go in the circle of all of these. I don't know if they're supposed to be flowers or sparkles, but anyway, those those beautiful faceted half circles are going to be in the center of those, these little outer pieces. Um, and so that means that these little colorful marquees, they are going to go around in the MB flower petals for each of these spots. So that'll be kind of cool. Yep. And then the rest of the crystals are gonna be the remaining outline. So, right? How cool is that? I'll make sure when the time comes that I can actually do this, that I will do a, um, a complete project review because yeah, I want you guys to see how this comes out. So hopefully it's gonna be as nice as it looks. I'm hoping so, crossing my fingers. But yeah, it was, it, this was really almost an impulse buy because I was just kind of, I knew they were holding up the order until the, I responded to them. So I'm just like, oh God, okay. This kit was $3.79 in case you're wondering. Um, the little dragon that I showed first, um, he was also $3.79. So, yep. All right, so there's that one. Okay, this one's a little bigger, guys. This is a 40 by 50. And this one, uh, oh, I really liked this one. Um, and okay, and I'm gonna t tell you something about um, why you have to be a little forgiving sometimes with budget canvases when you get a render like this. Now, I know it looks like, oh my God, it's a blue mess. Okay, but you know what? It's not really, and I'm about to show you why. So, I don't know the reason why they render like this, where it's it's like kind of a, like somebody vomited blue all over, um, but, and I do love, I love this dragon. I like the look it's giving. I like how regal it looks with its chest all puffed out. I mean, it's just pretty. Okay, so the reason is when you get the drills on it, all of these blues, instead of being kind of a mush and a wash of blue, 
separate out into the colors that they're supposed to be, okay? Let me show you another canvas where this has been the case. So, uh, this is one of my whips. You guys knew when I <laughs> got this ready. Okay, she had a similar issue. Let me move, let me move the cover minder. Okay, you can kind of see in this panel. Okay, it had that same blue throw up kind of, everything's a blue smear, okay? But when you put the drills on, which is what's happened here, it takes shape. And that's why be forgiving when sometimes the canvas looks like a lost cause and it's, but it's really not. I mean, without putting the drills on here, this looked like just a one giant blue smear. Like you couldn't make out that this was a reflection on the back of her dress, that this was her waistline. Like you, you couldn't tell, it was just really a blue wash. But as the drills come on it, it will give it the definition that you want it to have. So just try to remember that it's not usually a lost cause. Now, if I really was concerned that this canvas was just gonna be a waste of my time, okay, start in the middle. Start with her face, start with the dragon. Start with something that's gonna determine for you whether or not you should continue with it or scrap it and go to something else. Up to you. Um, so when they're one color like this, yeah, give it some grace because it'll probably be fine once you get the drills on it. Um, the ones that I worry about, my experience has been, if the render is so blurry and out of focus and so pixelated that you can't make out facial features, those are the ones that drills can't help. Okay, so they're, they're probably gonna stay kind of not all that terrific. It probably won't be one of your finest works. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do that, but lower your expectations is all I'm saying. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the difference. So I know because this one has also got a lot of blue whitewash. When I add the drills, it's gonna be a very different picture, okay? So, just wanted to give you guys that little bit of info. And I know you already know this stuff because you guys are brilliant, obviously. You're watching my channel, aren't you? Come on. Okay, same boat, nothing interesting there. But I really, and this is how I know this canvas is gonna be fine. When I look at the, the color scheme here, oh yeah, there's lots of blue, every shade you can think of. But that's where you get the definition. Now, if I looked at this and all five of these bags were this color, I would panic. Because I'd go, oh God, we're gonna be, it's gonna be a wash when I put it together too. But actually, I can already tell that there is gonna be lovely definition in this canvas when I get it done. So this is worth my time to do because already just, and that doesn't show the middle, but just the two sides, there's more than six shades of blue here. So we're gonna be fine. So I will definitely do this canvas and be excited about it because I know it's gonna be fine. But the interesting thing, now this dragon also, guys, was 376. And literally in a 40 by 50. That's why I'm saying always check the clearance first because once you check the clearance, then you can shop for whatever you came there to look for. But a 40 by 50 for $3.76, guys, really? Yeah, check it out. And I am gonna have no end of fun doing this guy because he's gorgeous. Okay, now final one. Dun, da, da, da. And guys, um, this was the most expensive canvas. This was $13.96, and I paid that because, because it's unusual for me to spend more than $10 on a canvas because it just, it annoys me. Unless I'm at a premium company, I rarely am going to spend anywhere near that kind of money, but this happens to be a 50 by 80. And I know that this year, because I didn't get to last year because I didn't find out about it until it was too late, I want to do the Disney event that Crafty Chef Diamond does every year. And I just loved this canvas, you guys, look. Look at this. I mean, every Disney creature that you can think of is represented on this canvas. I mean, look, you have Jasmine and you got Aladdin up here. 
let's go up here, up here on the carpet, and you got Lady and the Tramp, and Ursula, and you got uh, Mowgli, and Baloo from Jungle Book, you got Pinocchio and Bambi down here in the corner, everybody's accounted for, and what's right in the center in the back, Big Dragon, you betcha, so yep, every Disney creature you can possibly think of accounted for. There's the Hunchback, there's Peter Pan, there's Coella de Vil, there's the princesses and the evil queen in the center, including Pocahontas. Hey girl, about time you got in there. Got some Pluto, got the seven dwarves, got um, Milo and Otis, Pluto again, there's Marie from Aristocats, you got Donald and Daisy and Ariel, you got Beauty and the Beast. I mean, guys, you even got Jafar hiding back there. There he is. So, yeah, this just makes me happy to look at. Everybody from my childhood was represented, probably from yours too. Um, this canvas, again, it's a 50 by 80. It's got 30 colors. So, that's a nice mix. Um, drill field looks pretty good. Um, it's nice and easy to see, very clear, defined. Um, looks like mostly letters, letters and numbers. Um, TIDA approved numbering, one through nine is one through nine. Uh, 10 starts with capital letters from A through X. So yeah, this is gonna be just, <laughs> it's gonna take me an age, but it's gonna be no end of fun. This is one that if it comes out well and I like the way it looks when it's finished, I will probably go ahead and look for a frame for this because um, <laughs> I can, and I'll probably put it in my, my little guest room so that when my grandbabies come to visit, they can have fun playing seek and find with this canvas. So, yeah, and one quick look at the drills. Yeah, pretty color scheme. There's a lot of purple and hidden in there and some blues, whites and grays. There's your reds, your greens, your blues. Oh, and thank God, they're really nice, you guys. No trash, very little pitting, if any. So that's kind of nice, too. So, yeah. So that is the haul, guys. Um, again, that was fan cells. Um, so I think my total came to, because I also got, because I ordered four, I got like, I don't know, five or 6% off. So I paid less than $20 for this entire haul. So, you know, <laughs> can you go wrong? I'm not sure. And I'm really glad they didn't try to make this some tiny thing because you would not have had any definition at all, I think, if this was littler. So, and, but it's not so large that it's unruly and hard to work with. So, yeah, guys, we even got the genie up here, uh, which makes me miss Robin Williams that much more. That man was a loss to the entire world. Anyway, um that's everybody okay so i'm just going to leave this one here for a second i want to just quickly show you as i promised i would how this xyron x150 works so i'm going to get out this kit you've already seen that uh, was a make market kit from our friends at michael's um and this was not something that you know i discovered so shout out, I wanna thank Katie at Diamonds and Washi, cause she used one of these first and I was intrigued <laughs> to say the least. Ta-da. Um, this is the Zyron 150 sticker maker. It comes loaded, as you can see, it's a start now preloaded with 20 feet of permanent adhesive one and a half inches wide. Now you can get bigger, you can get better, you can get, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, more, you know, newer and improved. Um, but if you just need to make a sticker out of something, and again, these are the best thing you can do to make it a sticker. Um, this is the way to go. Now, what I did is I started out with the, with the budget kits. I actually did a color copy on my crop copier 
and then cut that down and pulled it through here and made stickers out of it to stick onto my containers or onto the bags if you use plastic bags. Um, and now I'm experimenting with just going ahead and cutting the side off because I'm going to cut it off anyway after I seal it. So it's no big loss. And I don't have to pay for color printer cartridges, which we know how that goes, don't we? So very simple. All you have to do is this is the feeding area. It's an, this is the one and a half inch. I think they make one that's either two or two and a half inches also. Um, and this is, it's not, it's not a high end thing guys. And you can get replacement cartridges. In fact, I bought a four pack of replacement cartridges when I ordered this. So I'm starting with a hundred feet of sticker maker. So, okay. Now, the reason that I got this out is because when you get the, this kit, okay, you get Okay, if I could figure out where I put it, that would be helpful. Um, really? Okay guys, hang on a second. I'm just gonna make this even easier, hold on. Since I don't know, I think I put it somewhere where I would remember to take it out and run it through and <laughs> Per usual, don't know where I put it. <laughs> so, okay, that's fine. Um, did I leave it in here? Nope, I don't know where it ended up. Wow, it really left in the blink of an eye. Huh, nope, no idea. Okay, so let's get something else because that will make it easier. Okay, I'm going to use, um, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use one I already have kitted up, hold on. So let me take that one back that I just showed you guys a second ago. Okay, so, I am going to go ahead, and now remember, you, you have it on both sides, okay? You have the exact same legend on both sides. So, and you know, like I said, you can either make a copy of this, or you can just go ahead and cut it like I'm doing right now, right out of the canvas, because again, it's not gonna stay there once, you know, you've completed it. So, yeah, just take it off. Okay, so now all you have to do once you have your um, uh, color, I guess it's a table. I always think of it as a chart, but okay, your color table, you guys. Um, and I would say, yeah, I mean, trim it down pretty close to how you're going to want it because otherwise it's wasted space. So I would take it down. Oh, to about like that. Okay. And then all you do is you put it into the feeder like so. And then you grab a hold of the tape end and you pull it through. And tear it off. It has its own cutter involved in that, okay? You know, I'd give it a rub once or twice just on principle because, you know, you're making a sticker. Remember that. Okay. And it tells you, in fact, it says right on here, it says rub and peel. Okay. So do that. Rub it down. Peel it off. Okay. And then you take off this front piece. Hang on, guys. You know, you'd think that I would be better at this, but mm -mm. okay. So you peel this off. 
okay? Now, and that takes care of it now, this isn't sticky to hold on to, but now this whole thing is a sticker. So all you have to do is you just cut out as much as you want. If you want the DMC code too, take it all the way across. If not, you can just stop halfway, right? And then when you peel it off, you now have a sticker to stick to your containers, stick to your bag, stick to whatever you want to stick it to. What else is this good for? If you have a die cut machine, if you're a paper crafter, or if you have a, a name tag that you need to put on your kid's lunchbox or backpack, you know, run it through, make it an inch and a half or smaller, run it through. Then you can just peel and stick it on them and send them on their way. So yeah, that's all there is to it guys. So yeah, I definitely think that it's worthwhile. I think I paid $14.99 for this. Um, and like I said, it's not, you can get, you know, you can get electric ones, you can get fancy, dancy, dancy ones, but I, you know, I didn't want to put that much into it because <laughs> really, um, especially since we all know the premium kits, most of them already come as a sticker. But if you have other kits like budget companies and you'd like the ease of being able to cut and stick on to your containers, $14.99 is worth the investment. So that's how you use the Xyron X150, guys. All right. Thanks for showing up today and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And I will catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.